Vincent Everts, some trend watcher I'm at a logistic uh, exhibition. Behind me, we see the automatic vehicle solutions, which is a trend here at Logistica. And what is the thing with something like this? You have a fantastic truck, it goes about 10K, then you automate it, it's about 50K, and you put it into a solution and it's 100K. It then pays itself back between one or two years if you have free shifts. But why is this so unbelievable expensive? Why are, is this project-based pricing? I will ask one of the suppliers who basically rebuilds those trucks. This Linda truck is being built by um, Balio. Balio takes this uh, truck and makes it automated. And let's ask... What are the components of a solution like this? And when is it going to be much more affordable? I'm talking to Pascal Rignon. He's the VP of marketing from Balio, the company who automates this uh, truck. You have here a uh, nice solution. It uh, runs back and forth uh, and it does everything automatically. Why is a truck which is automated so much more expensive at the moment? Well, uh, so much more expensive compared to a manual truck, you mean uh, standard yeah. trucks? I mean, I have a 10k truck here, and if you want to automate it, it's 50k. Yeah. If you want to put it in a solution, it's 100k. I know it's a good payback. Uh, what is a normal payback for a customer? Well, for simple application in three shifts, you will look for a, a one-year payback, yeah. um, roughly one-year payback. But if I have eight hours and I do normal work, it is n it's not affordable yet. At the moment, we believe the, the ROI on, on such application will be too low. Uh, so we recommend to, to, uh, to buy a system like this for two or three shift operations. Correct. So if we look at the trends of this market, I mean, you are using standard trucks. That's already uh, much more affordable. But when, is this, when are these companies like Linda building automation solutions like you provide yourself inside the truck and at a much more affordable rate? How, lo how fast will this market develop? Well, like any market, as soon as the volume will grow, yeah. obviously the price will go down. Prices are already going down every year, an estimating maybe 5%. Yeah. But the market is very small. I mean, well, maybe 2,500 uh, of these automated uh, warehouse uh, in systems Europe. in Europe per yes. year yes roughly that's that's the volume at the moment yeah, it's less than one percent way less than less than one percent compared to manual uh, material yes. handling trucks correct yeah. yes so obviously and we live in the age of automation we live everybody's used to an, a mobile phone and automating everything yes. why is this automation rate so low because again uh, traditional AGV supplier you uh, tend to produce them the, the, the trucks uh, themselves uh, up to now at least and um, and obviously uh, Small series uh, brings high prices. Uh, it's project. It's a project it's price. A project business so far. It, there's still a, a part of this uh, of this business which will remain a project business uh, operation and work. So this is a, a cost which we try to reduce as much as we can. But it is uh, it is a uh, it is an investment that each company has to do. Um, no. My question is, how long will it be in five years? Yes. Now the, it's five times more expensive to have an automatic vehicle as a normal vehicle. Yes. Will it be? When will it be double the price, so that the market can grow a hundred uh, hundred times? So you're, you're looking for a 25k truck, probably. Yes. Um, maybe 10 years from now. 10 years from now. Yes. Not before that. You have but this is, this is chips and software and sensors. What is so expensive about this business? We are talking about industrial grade uh, sensors. Yes. So the requirement from a, a regulation point of view, you have a European di directive, yes. uh, you have soon an ISO norm for, for, for automated truck and this draft cost, uh, cost higher. So, so you say a sensor which normally is 100 euro, yes. if you make it the same hardware and put it in an industrial grade, what is then the price? 2K. 20 times more expensive and that will and change an airplane is five times the price <laughs> or ten times this price okay. so this is this is uh, this so is we have the software we have the sensors we have the the basic trucks are already working we could make these things for twice the price but what's holding it back is volume and law correct yes that will be for me the two major factors yes okay so your company, how many people in the company uh, Balliot are already uh, 60 employees today in uh, your French right I'm French, yes. Yeah. But I live in Germany at the moment, by the yeah, way. Yeah. But I mean, you, the company is French and uh, 60 French people. Company. And how many vehicles do you do per year? Uh, uh, well, we have already installed uh, roughly 150 trucks. Um, so we are targeting to, to sell uh, roughly 100 trucks this year and next year uh, and double this every year. With 60 people. So it is an extremely uh, time intensive uh, business at the moment. What do you mean by time intensive? Well, you need a lot of people to make one automated truck. 
Well, to have 60 uh, uh, people for 100 trucks is almost one person per truck. That is a lot of, uh, there's no, a lot of work. Okay, no, Balio, Balio is, uh, is a technology company. So the vast majority of these, uh, these people are actually developing the software. The, the, the core of the, the solution is the software in this black box that you're seeing here. Yeah. And this requires a lot of uh, investment uh, in software programming. Yeah. So, so and, that, and, that, and of course, that is very much appreciated. But if I sell 100 times more trucks, the price per truck can go down in the software for a, a lot. Correct. So yeah. that's our bet. That's how, that's how we, we, yeah, you need we to sell a thousand trucks a year. Yeah. That's our objective. Yeah. We're together with Linda, our partner yeah. in Europe. So get the price down to uh, two times the, 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 the price. So again, we are working on it as soon as the volume will come. Yeah. And uh, the sensors. And <laughs> the sensors are already there, but obviously as soon as the volume comes in, uh, we will be able to drop the price significantly. Okay. So that's one trend, everything automated, but it's less than 1% of the business right now. What's holding it back is not technology, but pricing, or but it's pricing, and that is determined by volume and also determined by law, that everything, when it becomes industrial and business to business, the price goes up a factor of 10. This business is not fast and innovating. It's not a technology, but it's a structure of the business and the law. So far, trends from the logistical.